Ja, und zum herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Invincible. Wie versprochen, schauen wir uns jetzt noch ein paar andere ähm, Enten an. Es gibt, glaube ich, vier Stück. Oder sogar mehr, ich bin mir gerade nicht ganz so sicher. Aber auf jeden Fall haben, haben wir ja die Evakuierung vorhin gehabt. Und äh, nun... Mal schauen, was wir nun auswählen. Condor, are you there? This is the commander of the IC Dragonfly Unit, Astrogator Novik. Astrogator, this is Yasna. I managed to get to the Condor's Bridge, where Hitra and I led the attack on the cloud. But the Cyclops... Failed? Worse. The Cyclops got out of control, knocked down the probes. I had a feeling it would end like this. Do you know what Rahitra is planning now? I have no idea. But then I need to talk to him. You, sir? Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Done. Please talk. Hello, Condor. Oh, he posts. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all these? Rohitra, engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces. To prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree. Officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn actively. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, it disrupted our communications. <laughs> Playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still haven't answered me, Rietra. Please, just tell me straight. What are you up to? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives, cluster munitions? Hydrogen. What? Rietra? Are you serious? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's quite an arsenal. Over the top, I'd say. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. An amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads. To start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rehetra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. You like me. You would do anything for your crew. Ja, er hat nicht ganz unrecht. Not only do I understand you, I feel the same desire. But revenge is out of the question. Why? 
We are dealing with creations of necro evolution, dead evolution, and probably non sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like whipping the ocean for sinking a ship. Exactly. Like Xerxes. While we express our suffering, rage, and frustration, we won't accomplish much. We won't harm it. We won't instill fear in it. We won't make it surrender. I'm going to destroy it, Yasna. Not scare it, not hurt it. Exterminate every last piece of it. You, Ahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? <laughs> oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget, Rahitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Ich glaube, das letzte Mal habe ich das hier genommen. Und ja, eigentlich sind sie ja unsere Feinde. Auch wenn sie eben... Auch wenn es ihnen eben nicht bewusst ist. Weil schließlich haben sie ja unsere Leute umgebracht. Sentient or not, they are the enemies of all protein life. Mm. Argo, our enemies. Just like that. Yes. Please remember what we've learned. Before the machines came to read us three, this planet was teeming with life. Before the cloud wiped out all its competition. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasna found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Oh, they certainly competed with the local fauna. We've seen fish that evolved to sense electromagnetic fields. And underground, I found fossils of lizard-like reptiles. Some of them must have been predatory. Well, I find it hard to believe that any prehistoric reptiles would possess our level of technology, not to mention an arsenal. What they wouldn't have. But there were other machines here as well. Other machines? I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for this. How did these machines even get here? And who built them? Probably some alien race. Highly evolved. It all adds up if we assume they crashed on Regis III. But not even a single living organism survived the accident. Only machines were left. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotion. They don't... argue. I'm sorry, but... I don't know if there's any point in discussing this further. In short, we are facing an entity that has triumphed over countless adversaries, both organic and mechanical ones. I see no point in prolonging this discussion. For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I would even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well? I don't know. We don't have any chance. We're not getting. We don't have any. We're not getting a chance. Actually, I don't. I think we should proceed with the attack. Even after everything you've learned, Doctor. After everything you've been through. Because of it, we have to destroy the cloud. Well, I still have significant concerns. But you're the one there, not me. Maybe I'm not seeing the whole picture. Well, indeed, Novik. I knew Yasna would understand. Now give me a minute. I'm almost done. Ja, we gehen diesmal voll rein. We lassen ihn. See these switches? The ones on the launch control unit? Die Bomben. Abfeuern. Yeah, I see. Do I use them to launch the rockets? Not yet. We use a button for that. The red one. Hm. 
Mal schauen, was passiert. Well. Gewaltsame Lösung. Nah, oh, it's a little bit of a Offensichtlich hat er recht. Ähm. Holy shit! Wir haben ein Problem! Das ist nicht passiert. But where to? Into orbit. Do you have a landing pad anywhere? At the bow. All you gotta do is open the dome. Okay, go get the others. I'll take care of this. Also, öffne die Kuppel oberhalb des Landeplatzes. Wir haben ein Riesenproblem. Ähm. Ja. Es ging leider. Okay, got it. In die falsche Richtung. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Had upstairs, Doctor. Rohitra. What about the others? You'll wait for them in the lander. I hope they make it in time. Wo ist Rohitra hin? Komm schon, Junge. Wir müssen gehen. Muss ich ihm irgendwie sagen, los, komm mit? Nicht? Okay. Vielleicht kommt er ja nach. Alter. Ging gewaltig in die falsche Richtung. Wir haben sie nur noch mehr verärgert. Und jetzt sind sie noch mehr verärgert. Ja, yes. wir haben reconnected. Great. Hopper ist just landing. Just a few more steps. Holy shit. Hopper's here. You must fly away. Now. Aber... Was ist mit der Hütte? Okay, wir haben keine andere Wahl. Kommt er... Also, komm, kommt er nach? Oder wie sieht das aus? Passiert, wenn ich warte. Ich lasse niemanden zurück, ohne Ausnahme. Game created by Star Wars Industries. Alter. Was heißt denn das jetzt bitte? Was war das für ein Ende? Sind wir jetzt da gestorben? Von den Fliegen zerfressen? Ich meine, schließlich hat Rohytra uns ja auch ein paar Mal geholfen. Wir können ihn nicht einfach so zurücklassen. 
Also ja zumindest diesmal nicht. Das letzte Mal schon, aber diesmal nicht. Game published by 11-Bit Studios. Wahrscheinlich, wenn ich jetzt losgefliegen wäre, geflogen wäre, wäre es vielleicht wieder das gleiche Ending geworden, wie das letzte Mal, mit der Evakuierung. Könnte gut möglich sein. Auf jeden Fall bedanke ich mich jetzt schon wieder fürs Zuschauen hier bei The Invincible. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder, wenn wir noch ein Ende anschauen werden. Bis dahin, vielen Dank und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.